Good morning guys, how are you today? I figured I'd get my vlogging camera out today and do a daily vlog with you guys. A few things that I want to share with you. I'm getting my hair done, so I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to ask Michael the colors he puts in my hair, like the specifics about my hair. And then, so I'll just sort of do a daily vlog at the hairdressers. I'm not gonna get up to much because honestly, the hairdressers does take quite a long time um like quite a few hours so i'll be there majority of the day but then i figured while i was there i'd be, get some work done so a lot of you guys constantly ask um if you're visiting sydney what to do where to go and i thought i would compile a little mini list for you guys within this vlog just sharing with you um what i think is and what, what i love to do in sydney um, and what you definitely have to go do and see so I'm going just in my comfies today. I've just got this cardigan on, which I'll link down below if it's still available. And my comfy brown pants, because I'll just be sitting in the hairdressers for a long time. I'll probably order lunch when I get there, just so I'm not Uber Eats, but I get so hungry and bored. So I'm also going to take one of these Carmen's bars too. That way I won't... Um, binge when I get home and I've got some good high protein snacks. Ready? I have arrived. I'm gonna get this mop done. The lovely Michael. This is the this is hey. the star. This is the guy. Hi guys. Um and I thought while we were doing our highlights I would just ask him a few questions and get him to answer the common ones. Yeah. Um so basically what are you doing to my hair? <laughs> well um, I see you like maybe twice a year, right? Yeah. Yeah. So when Semi comes in, guys, I highlight her. I highlight her natural to brighten it up. And then I balayage out the ends to lighten out those ends. Um, I also do a little bit of a mid-light. So it's like, it's a color between Semi's natural and the lightest point of her ends. And I blend it together so that it has lots of texture. Like, we don't over-highlight it because Sam has a really beautiful natural hair colour and we kind of let it kind of grow out and work with the sun, like the sun will lighten it, she yeah. spends lots of time outdoors, so, yeah. I mean, it's quite a it's quite a simple approach. Easy to maintain as well, that's my biggest thing, like I like not having, we never have the regrowth. I mean, if you want to have a look, you can see that like, I literally only have um, like three bowls of colour here, so I have two different strengths of um, lightener and then I have my mid-light, which I just spoke to you guys about. Um, this one's for her natural on the roots and this one's for her ends just to brighten them out. Like it's super simple. Yeah. I think like you guys kind of need to remember that Semi's natural base colour um, is quite light. So if you have a really dark natural base, um, it's like a brunette or a dark blonde, you're not really going to be able to get this type of, um, you know, like creamy, honey, lifted feeling. It might take you in a different direction, but you can have something similar. You just can't have the same thing. Hey, okay, thank you. You're welcome. And I'll um, sort of show you guys a progress throughout and then show you the after. So this is my hair before, looking dirty as <laughs> Got Olaplex in there right now. I hey? do, yeah. I've got an Olaplex in, and I've told you guys about that as well. Um, that's what I put to um, treat this sort of ends in the dry hair. You're a dream client, Sam. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so that's about it. I'll update you guys as we go. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> washed all the highlights out. Mm -hmm. um, but what I'm doing now is I'm just going to do a little bit of balayage around Sammy's face just at the basin just to give her those pops that she loves to see. That's so cool. I've not, I've not seen it like that You've before. You've not seen this? No. Interesting. Oh, well. So this is what we do guys. It's just really simple and you can see how it just gives like volume to the face framing of Sam's hair. You get all of that pop of blonde here mm -hmm. rather than like from the stripiness in the front. Yeah. Which is how you like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Emmy, you're like my interviewer today. 
I know, it's weird. You're better, I was saying, Michael's better than me. He keeps going, all right, you should film this. I'm like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we gonna talk about? So what are we up to now? Okay, well now I'm putting on Semi's um, Root Shadow. Um, and what that does is it just softens out the highlights from the very root, so it doesn't look stripey anymore. Um, right. And it actually allows you to go like six months um, without coloring it. So, very natural, it's kind of similar to your natural hair color. Oh, it just has a, a little bit more warmth because I know that you love that golden tone. Yes, love the golden. My time is going on. I'm learning as we're going as well, yes. guys, because I never actually, I kind of let Michael just do his thing. I never actually watch, so it's very interesting. You just come in, yeah, do your computer work, <laughs> drink your cordial. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, this is what we do, and I mean like this is probably um, the oh, most important part, to mm, be honest. Um, especially like around the face, you need to have that softness and that right amount of warmth, mm -hmm. so it feels natural. Yeah. So. Okie doke, so I'm done looking like a grease ball. So I'm home now. My camera is just not... Oh, Nala's sitting inside. My baby, she's been alone all day. Um, I'm gonna go inside and talk to you guys, but yeah, usually we go, I think what we usually do is put a little bit of darkness through the roots as well, and I don't think we did that today. So it's a little blonder than I had anticipated, um, but I'm gonna go inside and talk to you guys properly there because Nala's inside. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Crazy girl, okay. Where shall I put you guys? Um, so yes, this is my hair. Oh, Nala just pulled out all the threads of my pants. I'm so off it! So, um, I thought as, I may as well give you a few little, like a little bit of info while we're on the topic of my hair. It's not cheap. I'd rather do it right as opposed to maybe risk having my hair kind of screw up. So, um, it's something that I'm willing to spend more money on to get good quality results. But that's why I don't do it often and that's why we do this style of sort of balayage because I don't have to sort of maintain it for ages. So I probably get it once to two times a year and I figure, um, yeah, it's in the grand scheme of things, it's not as expensive as if I was to constantly dye it. Yes, it is very expensive. I do pay for it myself. I don't get it for free. Um, I still just want to, I guess I'm just telling you guys about it, um, not for the benefit of anyone but you guys, because you guys always ask. So um, I'm gonna make a chicken wrap because I think I'm a bit hangry. And um, I finished all my snacks and I finished them like kind of at the beginning. So I was like, <laughs> why, why? <laughs> Oh yeah, and on, like another honest truth about it is that it's gonna really screw with your hair a bit. So the reason I don't like to do it that much as well is because I do find when I dye it, I get the most intense amount of hair breakage um, and I get really, really, really dry ends. Like you're bleaching your hair, like what do you expect? So unfortunately, that's why I don't like to do it very often. Like when you brush it, you can see just hair just flicking off everywhere. It just breaks your hair a lot. So there are a lot of cons that come with bleaching your hair it's extremely expensive and it's not that great for your hair so keep that in mind if you guys are wanting to dye your hair it's not all it's not all good <laughs> um but i'm gonna make a chicken wrap and then i'll come back and chat to you guys about sydney's best spots oh my god okay i've just eaten i cannot believe how hangry i was just then i was literally about to like punch someone in the face i figured I, i'll get my document up now so that we can talk through some of my fave places in Sydney. Um oh my God, I'm very full I ate that very fast. Okay. So we're moving on from the hair topic. If you guys have any other questions, just let me know. Um but I feel like I've touched on everything pretty well now. I'm sorry I look like a grease ball. I just my makeup's like all come off from the hairdressers. I didn't want this video to be too long and I really just want to get through it. I'm just going to list it off for you guys and tell you why I like it. Um, and this is a pretty long list. So if you guys are traveling to Sydney um, and you only have like a few weeks, these are a few of the bars and restaurants that I would suggest going to slash the beaches and just places that I love in Sydney. So I'm sure there's so much more out there that is amazing in Sydney, but these are just the places that I know and that I can recommend because I've been to. In 
Sydney, the eastern suburbs. I would suggest doing the Bondi to Bronte walk. It's a beautiful walk along the coastline. Do that on a beautiful day. And then I would start in Bronte, to be honest, and then walk to Bondi, or if you're willing to walk from Bondi to Bronte, Bronte back. Um, because then you can end in Bondi and have a nice breakfast. Other beaches that I like are Clavelli and Tamarama. They're also awesome beaches. Bondi breakfast, I love Drake's. Drake's is one of my faves. Get the avocado toast or the um, like Spanish egg pot. It's like one of those tomato base baked eggs things. Oh my God, it's so good. Or Speedos. Speedos is a good one for like vegans and has really fun, like lots of really fun stuff. North Bondi Fish is amazing for cocktails and just a good vibe. It's a good vibe, really good view. Um, Bondi Bucket List might be something that you could go to afterwards. It's a lot of fun um, going and having drinks on Bondi Bucket List. It's right on the beach, like it's so much fun. Um, Icebergs is a classic, a little bit more expensive. That's the one that, if you guys don't know, is the really famous pool in Sydney. You know everyone always takes those pictures of that really beautiful pool? That's Icebergs. Um, Coogee Pavilion is a lot of fun. It's kind of like another Bondi Bucket List vibe, like you go for drinks. Sydney nightlife is so shit, so I just prefer going to bars, and that's a bar that I love to go to. There's a cafe called Jackie's in Paddington, which is really good breakfast. Get the Parmesan scrambled eggs, or they have such good sushi for lunch. Um, in Surrey Hills, if you guys like dumplings, my, one of my fave dumpling places is called Dumplings and Beer. Super chilled, super low key, really easy, but really good fresh dumplings. And a place that you guys can go shopping if you're really wanting to do some shopping is at Bondi Junction. The Grounds of Alexandria in the East is also fun. I don't go there often because it's very touristy and it can be quite busy, but it is does have nice food in the cafes and it is really, really photogenic. So if you want a good Instagram. Um, opera bar for dinner is another classic, which I actually haven't done, but um, that's one Georgie suggested. Cafe Sydney is another one that I have done and I loved. It's got a beautiful view of Sydney, but my favorite restaurant in the city is Mr. Wong's. If you come to Sydney, you have to go to Mr. Wong's. It's Chinese. It is so, so, so good, my favorite by far. Now, Woolamaloo Wharf itself um, has a bunch of restaurants on it and they're all beautiful. I've been to all of them and they're all incredible. My favorites are China Doll, again, incredible Chinese food, some of my favorite. And Crinides is really fun because you can get like the really long pizzas and share different style pizzas and they've got these really fun big cocktails. And Crinides is a little bit more affordable than some of the others, which are further down, which are quite expensive, a bit more fine dining. Um, but I love Canadians, I want to go, it's making me feel like pizza. Another thing that we do in the city, um, which is my last sort of city suggestion, is we always have picnics in the Botanical Gardens. A really beautiful place with an incredible view of the city and the water and the bridge and the opera house and you just bring your cheese and your wine and your chop chips and chocolate and all of that and you just have that. Over in the north slash northern beaches where I grew up, Balmoral is one of my favorite beaches. I personally really love surf beaches because I love diving under the waves and catching waves and body surfing. But if you are a bit scared of the ocean slash don't really like the surf beach, try Balmoral because it's basically flat. In Balmoral, there's a cafe called The Boat Shed. Boat Shed or The Boat House, whatever it's called, um, is on the jetty in Balmoral and it has the best avocado toast. So go there for breakfast and they've got great coffee and it's just such a beautiful view again. Another few places in Mossman, Fresh Blend, has the best fresh, healthy juices, smoothies, in my opinion, in the whole of Sydney. I used to work there, so I know. Um, and they do the best acai bowls as well. So if you guys like acai bowls, that place has incredible acai bowls. Basil Nut is amazing Thai, one of my favorite Thai places. I've tried quite a few, but not that many, but Basil Nut is one of my favorites. Again, just a really small, chill, pretty sure it's BYO. You can just sit outside inside. It's really small, but it's really good Thai. In Manly, I love Hugo's. Hugo's is delicious cocktails in Italian again, and it's right on the wharf with a really just good vibe. Like I love places with just good vibes. Um, Manly Wharf Bar is really fun, which is kind of like a, like a Coogee Pavilion slash like Bondo Bucket List, that type of, you go for drinks. Sorry, my camera just ran out of space. And sorry, I'm touching my hair so much. I'm just, ugh. And also I just feel dirty in general. So I'm just like, ugh. Moving on, who cares? It's just hair. 
Chica Bonita in Manly is also a really fun Mexican place that does like classic French fries with like Mexican nachos. It's like pretty, pretty epic. Um, and there's one called Queen Chow, which is a oh, Queen Chow, I'm pretty sure it's called. Um, which I haven't been to yet, but that's like next on my agenda. It's got like dumplings again. Yeah, sorry, I absolutely just powered through that just then, but I just thought I, I figured like I may as well just say it. Then you guys can write a list and then Google it or check it out yourselves. Those are just my suggestions. Um, I'm sure I've forgotten like a billion um, and I'm sure I have a billion more that I'll want to try myself, but those are just some of my favorites in Sydney. Anyways, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> I'm just sitting here having strawberries and she just stands here trying to like put on a show. Excuse me. Do you want a strawberry? Okay.